Hey, hey friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's What's for Lunch video. I hope you enjoy this week's video. Um, I do have five um, lunch inspiration meal ideas for you. <laughs> um, one of them we did go ahead and get takeout on Friday. We went up to Jim's drive-in and I've said this before, it's our favorite little local drive-in place. So we enjoy that very much and we do it every once in a while as an office so anywho <laughs> i hope you enjoy these ideas and it gives you some inspiration for some lunches for yourself or your family but without further ado you all let's get into today's what's for lunch video don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below and think about subscribing because i would absolutely love to have y'all but let's go y'all come on let's go Okay, so for this lunch idea, I just couldn't come up with anything and I didn't want to add like the extra bread or something. So I just figured I would make like little lettuce boats. <laughs> so I took this green leaf lettuce right here and just kind of arranged it to where I would have like, you know, four good pieces, which I got so stuffed jaw I couldn't eat all of it. <laughs> um, so I just took that lettuce, I've lost my train of thought. And I'm just going to smear some, um, I think it's the chive and onion cream cheese that I usually have on my bagels. But it makes a great spread for like wraps or anything like that. So I laid that on the lettuce or spread it out, spread it out on the lettuce. And then I took two pieces of ham each. I was going to try to roll these, but it wasn't going to work. So I just folded them in half and then kind of stacked them here in this little dish. So that was like the main portion of my lunch I should say it was really good um they surprisingly the lettuce didn't wilt and I was kind of worried that it would but it didn't it stayed pretty fresh in that container so anywho um to have as a side I'm just gonna pack some of this um, pasta salad that I made over the weekend and it was pretty good it had um let's see cucumbers and onion bacon bits cheese um and carrots yes <laughs> in a ranch packet like a ranch dressing dry mix packet with some mayo so i just packed me a little container of that to kind of have on the side as well um that's probably why i didn't eat all the ham because that pasta salad was so good y'all i did eat all of that <laughs> and then to kind of have a snack um um, to go along with it i just packed some of those little quakes um they're like teeny tiny cucumbers as you could see right here, these things, they might be tiny, but they pack the flavor and I absolutely love them. So all I'm doing here is just cutting off the little bitty ends. I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't do the ends. I don't, I guess I'm weird, <laughs> but I just cut off these ends and stacked them on in the little um, container that I have here. And then on the other side, I just packed some, I believe it was kosher deal or hamburger deal chips. Because I wanted something, you know, salty to kind of go along with everything. And I love me some pickles. I am a pickle fanatic. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are. Let me know below. Do you like pickles or are you not a fan of pickles? Do you like hamburger deal or do you like bread and butter or, you know, the sweeter side of pickles? I am a deal. Deal pickle gal through and through, let me tell you. But here is my lunch. Um, I was just getting ready to eat it here. But it was a really good combination. There's those cucumbers and the pickles and the pasta salad. And of course my little lettuce boat wraps. Whatever you want to call them. But that was lunch this day. And it was absolutely delicious. And 
lunch this day is just leftovers from the night before, which was the Pioneer Woman Skillet Lasagna. And I had some leftover breadsticks, believe it or not. So I just took it to work with me, heated it on up, and it did reheat perfectly. So if you make this dish, which I'll have that um, recipe linked below, but if you make it, it does reheat perfectly and it's so good, y'all. It, it's just like lasagna. It just adds to the flavor when you have leftovers. But that was lunch this day. All right, so this day I didn't have any leftovers and I was scrambling to be honest. So I dug through the deep freezer and I found these pepperoni and cheese, um, the great value brand of the Hot Pockets. So I just took that box with me to work and that's what I had for lunch and I packed some ranch dressing because if y'all know me, I have to have my dressing, my ranch to dip my pizza in. So that was lunch this day. <laughs> so I just went ahead and heated those on up and I just wanted to show you the inside of those. They are really good. They have have great flavor and I just put some ranch here on my plate honestly the cup spilt over so I just took the cup off <laughs> but I'm gonna dip it in it anyways so no harm no foul there but these were really really good y'all All right, so at the office this day, we had our breakfast bought for us by a coworker, um, and I was gonna have this bagel for breakfast, so I just saved it for lunch, and that's what I had for lunch because I didn't bring anything. <laughs> but um, so that is just the cream cheese, um, the chive and onion cream cheese on an everything bagel. If y'all have not tried that combination, please do because it's a game changer. It's absolutely delicious. But that's what I had for lunch. <laughs> Last but not least, there's Jim's drive-in. So I had a hot dog with everything. So that's ketchup, mustard, chili, onions, and coleslaw. And then I got an order of those pickle fries right there that I dipped in that ranch dressing. And that was lunch this day. And it was absolutely delicious to finish off the week. That hot dog hit the spot because they grilled them buns. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But anyways, y'all, that finishes out this week, and what a way to finish out the week with this meal, because it was so, so good. You just can't beat Jim's, y'all. If y'all are ever in West Virginia, make sure y'all go check it out. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's What's for Lunch. I really, truly hope you enjoyed it and that it did give you a little bit of inspiration for some lunches during the hectic or busy work week, or if you, even if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe it gave you some ideas for your babies at home and yourself. But anyways, y'all, until next time, I wish you the best. God bless. Bye.